E A G L E S. Say fly eagles fly. Fly eagles fly. Fly eagles fly. <laughs>
But yet and still, you're not protecting him. Yet and still, you're not putting the best weapons out there that was bought him for him. And if they are out there, they're only out there for 35% of the freaking snaps. Are you freaking kidding me? This is the problem that I got. This is the problem that I got. If you want to bench Carson Wentz, you need to bench their behinds too. Anybody that's not playing good needs to get benched. Why is it just the quarterback? Avante Maddox, loving to death, playing, he's playing out of position in my fat. But no matter what, he's still barbecue chicken. He needs to be benched. Nathan Gary, I thought for six weeks, needed to be benched. But nah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're just going we just, we just to blame everything on the quarterback. And it's going to be a shame that we probably do the same thing to Jalen Hurts. If Jalen Hurts goes out here uh, uh, um, 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 Sunday against the Saints, and throws two picks and a fumble or something, then what? Then what y'all going to do? I'm not going to turn my back on the kid. Just like I'm not turning my back on Carson. This is the problem that I got. Everybody everybody is saying, not everybody, but it's a, but it's a, it's a good handful of people is saying that I'm this and I'm that and I'm a hater and, I, and, and, and I'm a Carson Wentz apologist and all that. No, I'm trying to make y'all see that the organization is failing. This fell in this quarterback. Now, hopefully, Doug switches things up and is going to buy. I, I, I don't. I'm not going to know how to feel if he switches things up. I'm not even going to lie to you because I'm going to be happy that he finally did. But it's going to be a head scratcher. Why it take for the change in the guards for you to do this? Why does it take for the change in the guards for you to roll a guy out? Why does it take for a change in the guards for you to run a football? Why does it take for a change in the guards for you to have quick crossing passes? This is the problem that I got with everything that's going on. This is the problem that I got with the organization. This is the problem that I got with Mr. Doug Peterson. When you really dissect things, man, it's, it's has Carson Wentz been playing bad? Yes. Yes, it's not, not like, 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 come on, man. Stevie Wonder can see it. Ray Charles, rest in peace. He can see it. Like, like, that's not, that, that, to me, that's not what it's about. That's not what it's about. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't play a factor. But when you know your quarterback is struggling, you are the coach. You are a leader of men, Mr. Doug Peterson, Mr. Press Taylor, or whoever else is calling plays. You know that he's struggling. Why in the hell do you keep putting him in a position to do the same damn thing? That's all I'm saying. But yet and still, you don't want to bench yourself, uh, Mr. Doug Peterson. You want to bench Carson and make it seem like it's all his fault. It's all his fault why... Nobody can get open. It's all his fault why the offensive line can't block. Everything is his fault. Listen, all I'm saying in this video, man, and I'm going to be giving y'all more content. Y'all already know how I get down. I don't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Uh-uh. Listen. All I'm saying, man, is when you really break it down and you really look at it, these two dudes need to be benched. These two dudes are sorry. Ever since they have came into the game, they either hindered a player like Jordan Maialata and Travis Fogel, or they they're hindering they're they're also hindering Carson Wentz and probably Jalen Hurts if they play. Uh, um, Jason Peters is a freaking turnstile, and and I'm not saying he don't got talent. It's just gone. It's just gone. The Monstars took his talent. They got his talent in that trench coat with the, with, the, with the football. They took his talent. It's over for him. He done. Father Tom is undefeated. Alshon Jeffrey walking. Look, he, he, he looking like a, a crackhead on, on, on 60th and Market running down the street with a refrigerator on his back. That's how slow he is. Listen, man, let me know what y'all think in the comments. If y'all agree, if y'all don't, man, let me know. But I'm going to say this for the last time. To me, it's not about Carson Wentz and Jalen Hurts. It's about the organization. It's about Doug Peterson versus the versus the quarterback. Because you're putting guys in the, in, the, in a bad predicament, man. Let me know what y'all think. Yo, that.